Hello friends, welcome back. This is Gautam Nauda from Fourth Focus Group. In today's video, let's discuss about what is the whole thing about the class dot wp dot php file. Recently, I was trying to in install some plugins to one of my clients' website. So at that time, I could see that all my ports were blocked from the backend. So I inquired with the host. So they told me there are some suspicious files in your server so we suspect it as virus so we have blocked that files we have given null permission to that file and we have also blocked your ports so if you want the ports to be unblocked you have to kindly clear up those files so that will be unblocking the port so i immediately came to my cpanel and what you can see here i'm in the virus scanner page right now after uh, getting the final results of the virus scanner i could see one common file which uh, which got in infected for many websites so that file is what i was talking about is the class.wp.php file so again this has infected one website that is fashion code another website that is mastermindacademy.com virus scan says the site has been attacked by a site lock virus uh, site lock php backdoor generic unofficial is the name big name it has he accessed my ftp so that if i can make some changes in the file so i tried that method also the ftp is also open here here is that file class.wp.php file but what happens is if i try to download that file or if i try to view or edit that file it is not letting me to open the file because it is telling me i have a 550 can't open permission denied if the permissions are not automatically set by the host it would affect every other files in the server and totally resulting in a total virus crash down of the site so they have denied the permissions but i really wanted to know what was actually inside that class.wp. PHP file. I ran a few Google searches and finally I could get the code sector of that file and here here I am showing you the codes of that file. Actually these codes were initially present in class.wp.php file. Upon searching or uh, scrutinizing this file, what this file does is it gives a permission to them to directly access my site's users table. They could create a user and they could give a password to them and they could also give the admin privileges they could come uh, come back to the front end and they could log in with the uh, newly created username and password so that is really dangerous isn't it just put this code you'll get the access for uh, creating the user accounts for that particular site you just go and create the user accounts come back to the front end log in then they have the admin touch, they can make any changes in the WordPress dashboard itself. What can we do to eliminate this issue? Let's discuss about that right now. Don't just quarantine the file. And before destroying the file, just see to it because sometimes what happens is like those codes will be affected to some other codes. Take the example of post.php file in this, this site. Find the virus is infected. If you just destroy this file, what happens actually is like it will disable the total post functions in your wordpress site itself so because this before destroying the site we have to see that thing also if you find a virus if you just destroy it maybe major function in your wordpress site also goes destroyed the last option what we see here is it is asking us to ignore but if you ignore the file the ports block be still there you cannot make any changes unless and until you remove those virus first of all i'll tell how to disinfect this class wp.php and the last part i'll tell you how to disinfect the virus in post.php file let's take the class.wp.php file so if you ever encounter with this file you have to do three most important things i'll just share the screen of one of the support topic which i came across in wordpress itself using this code someone may insert or delete a new user into your database with admin privileges make sure that you have wordpress themes and plugins all updated to the latest stable version Second most important thing you have to do is change your FTP cPanel passwords. That is the most important thing because changing this will push log out if any persons are logging into your server without your knowledge. So do change the FTP and cPanel passwords 
immediately and the last important thing is to cross check that compare the number of users you have in your wordpress dashboard users with those in the wp users database table by doing this cross check you will get to know if any users are created automatically using this file consider the example of the mastermind academy site in that i have one user that is admin itself so let me go to the php admin php my admin page and let me see if there are any other users which have which have been created so let me go to the mastermind database this is the mastermind academy database i am here now and here is user table so this is the user table so here the username and password and the admin username of the particular users in our site will be displayed and uh, as of now i can see there is only one user that is the user which i have created itself so i can make sure that no other users are being created on my site using that code this is the thing what i can do so what i'll do now is like i'll just go and click on destroy and i'll give process cleanup so that the file will be destroyed yes done how did i solve the virus infection of the post.php file once i click the quarantine option the post.php so what i did is like i downloaded the fresh package of wordpress and i just went to my ftp i copied the original post.php file from the wordpress i just copied the thing i just created the new post.php file in the ftp just edited the thing and i pasted the fresh set of codes which i just copied from the newly downloaded wordpress package and i just saved the thing and i re-uploaded the new post.php file so doing this will delete the virus affected post.php file and since i copied the fresh code from wordpress package to the post.php file and saved it now now it is completely working fine so no more issues of the virus in the server so let me run a new scan again so this will take a while i'll just pause the video here and i'll get back once the total scan is completed welcome back uh, the virus scan has been completed now it is now telling me that virus scan complete no virus found that is great okay then let's see in status of my ports now and here let me go to the port 80 so let me request for a unblock now i'll place an unblock port request and they'll take some one or two minutes, two hours of time and it will be unblocked outbound ports unblocking request successfully placed and is queued for priority unblock so that's all about this issue if you do have any suggestions or comments or if you have any more doubts do let me know in the comment section i'll get back to them as soon as possible thanks a lot for your time have a nice day